Hi guys, today we are talking about Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell and it was so good. Um, I loved it. I have read another book by Rainbow Rowell and it was Eleanor and Park. I liked that book. I thought it was really good. I really liked the characters in that book, but the ending kind of left me wanting more and in the end, I, I think I rated it like three or four stars. I can't remember now. This one I actually rated five stars. So basically this is a story about Kath and she's a freshman in college and her and her tw identical twin sister, Ren, are going to school together and Ren and her are just totally different. They're having totally different experiences. Ren is out there and going to parties and dating and making friends and Kath is in her dorm room eating protein bars and writing fan fiction because she's scared to really go out and into the college life and I can totally relate and I totally understand where she's coming from and it's really cool because it actually divides the semesters up and it shows um, it says fall semester 2011 and I thought that was really cool because that's actually when my fall semester was of my freshman year. Kath and I have a lot in common and I really felt like I related really well to her and as I was reading her I just kind of felt like I have just you know where I was like shaking my head like I've been there kind of Kind of situations like that but um if you like harry potter um this story talks about simon snow which is like this story's harry potter um so that was really really cool i actually heard about that before i read this and I, it just made me even more interested to read it um uh, but yeah it's a contemporary there's a little bit of romance in it it's just cool to see kath you know mature and grow through her freshman year and I just really enjoyed it. So if you haven't read it, I definitely recommend it. And you should go read it now because the rest of us are going to be discussing this book in detail and I don't want to spoil you. So bye. Okay, like I said, I thought Kath was super relatable. I thought it was so funny that <laughs> their names, the twins, Kath, Kather, Katherine, I, I was like, honestly, I stopped reading for a minute and just laughed because I was like, oh my gosh, I did not like catch on to that that quickly. And I was, because I was like, Cather, that's kind of like a different name. I thought it was kind of cute, like Levi was calling her that. But anyways, um, when you guys started the book, I, okay, whenever I am guessing there's going to be like a romance, I am always, like my mind is always going, like trying to think of like who the romance might be with, if that makes sense. And in this book, when you start reading it, you like are introduced to Levi, who seems like a really great guy, but he's unavailable because he's dating her roommate. So I kind of like marked that off. But then you're introduced to Nick, and I'm thinking, well, maybe it's going to be Nick. But then as time went on, I'm like, you know what? He's not that great. I really hope that Nick is not the guy that she ends up, like, really falling for because he's kind of a, a, kind of a jerk. Um, and then as it progressed, I'm like, oh, no, is this going to be another, like, in on the French kiss thing? And she's, like, going to break up a relationship, and it's, she's going to start dating him, and then it's going to be, like, over right as they like find out that they both like are crazy about each other and it's like over and I was hoping it didn't happen like that. I was actually really happy that they kind of like made amends and really started dating like what was it like halfway or like three quarters of the way through the book. Um, that way we like get something out of it and we like aren't left quite as much like wanting so much more I guess from it. But anyways uh, I really like the twin whole side of the story. I don't think I really read any books about twins. Um, Ren made me mad a lot of times though, like when she would make fun of the whole, like Simon Snow and stuff, and, and Catherine's just like, you don't make fun of Simon Snow, like that is not cool. So, I don't know, I just kind of was frustrated with her because, you know, Kath was obviously having a hard time, and Ren was not being, like, the best sister in the world by any means. Um, I... I was kind of like Kath. I really, you know, I didn't stay in my dorm room all the time, but honestly, I didn't go out that much. I didn't, like, go out to, like, parties, and, you know, I would get invited in the beginning, and then, like, they just kind of stopped asking because I'd always turn them down. And, I don't know, I could just relate to a lot of um, the things she brought up. Even, like, going to lunch. Like, if I didn't have Jake or, like, a friend with me, I would almost rather just stay in my room and I would just eat like Easy Mac or ramen noodles because I did not want to go by myself and so I really find myself relating a lot to the stuff that she was talking about. So I couldn't stand Nick, like I, he just, I mean he, okay, he wasn't that big of a part of the story if you really look at it as a whole, but I just the way he was, he started out, um, he was kind of going the right way and, but then, I don't know, he just, 
he acted so strange and I wondered actually quite a bit if he had maybe a girlfriend. Um, I wondered quite a few times if maybe he was just leading her on. Um, I never thought he would steal the story, but I wondered if he was kind of using her in a way. I just kind of thought he was bad news, you know, as the story slowly like kind of went on. Um, I don't know, he just really frustrated me, but I really liked like how, like what happened at the end. He, he had it come in, you know, you don't steal someone's story and you don't try and take credit for it. And I love that the teacher even like saw through it. That made me so happy. So as the story progressed, I was really trying to figure out what was happening what the overall like plan was and like where the plot was going. I was trying to figure out if it had to do with Kath's mom and maybe their relationship was going to be changing a bunch. I was trying to figure out maybe if that's where it was heading or if it was going to focus more on just like her love life, like if there was going to be some sort of Nick, Levi, Kath thing. If when her dad got sent to the hospital, I'm like maybe it's going to be something that's sad that happens with her dad. Ultimately, I really like that it didn't focus really that strongly on any of those. I like that it was more on Kath and her maturing and her learning to like believe in herself and how she, you know, continued with carry on and how she did write the story and um, I love at the end From Left by Catherine Avery, winner of the Underclassman Prize. I'm really proud of Kath and how like much she kind of overcame and stuff. I really wanted more, you know, when the story was over, you just you you keep thinking of all this stuff and you know I wanted I wanted to hear more about her story, carry on and I um, I wanted to hear more about the story she wrote for her teacher. You know, they talked about so long about how she wasn't going to do it, and then she sat down to do it, and you really didn't hear much about it. So I kind of wish we would have gotten more of that. I'm always left, like, wanting more, and I feel like I should write her a letter saying that she should totally continue Eleanor and Park's story, and she should totally continue Kath's story, and I would totally buy them. Everyone else would as well. So she should definitely look into that. But that's all I have to say about Fangirl. And I talked about it way more than I thought I was going to. But it was really good. If you um, have read Fangirl, let me know. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Let me know um, what you thought of the ending. Let me know if, you know, you guessed some of the stuff with, like, Nick and the story. If you kind of saw through him. Um, what do you guys think of it? But you guys should leave me some comments and I love discussing with you guys. It's so much fun. I'm gonna go, but I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you later. Bye!